Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right, recording? Yeah. All right, good. Good? So I had to do it for the mic spike. All right, so I got Christopher Bow here. You've seen him in some of my previous videos and we got Juan here. Uh, they're partners and they do it, real estate investments. Uh, it's called DMV Partners, correct? That is correct. All right, sweet. So uh, today they bought this property for under 100,000 and they're putting about 21,000 into it. I know very little about the numbers or how to get investment property. So they're here to kind of talk to us about it a little bit. I only know how to find this stuff. So um, the first question I had for you guys is, um, how do you find a property like this? You know, and what makes you think that it's good? Okay. Um, well, first of all, I'm a traditional realtor. So I get, I get deals coming through me all the time. Uh, how we found this deal is through another investor actually. And he was a wholesaler and he was uh, an actual friend of ours. So what had happened, how it started was uh, he reached out to us and said, and told us he's got this deal and we verified the numbers before we even go out to look at the property. And uh, we verified the numbers, it looked good. We, we agreed to buy it, sight unseen. So when you're saying verify numbers, what exactly numbers are you looking at? Are you looking at just like the general market area or yes. what uh, it takes to the, fix it? Yes, the general the general uh, numbers as in price to buy it, price to uh, price and cost to repair, and after repair value, how much is it worth, and in and the time length timeline, how long it will take for us to do the the work. So uh, when all that, if the numbers make sense, that we're putting out uh, pennies on the dollars or s seventy cents on the dollar, and you're gonna earn a dollar or more then it's worth it and you know we execute on it so with that being said we bought the house sight unseen and we sight unseen you didn't even walk in it nope Woo! we don't have to because you just because, all homes have problems they can be fixed yes and and because the seller was our friend actually so okay we, we had first dib on it and he told us what it looks like what the situation was so mentally with experiences um so you trust him yeah. One, we trust them, mm -hmm. and two, uh, with the way the way things are in in certain houses, you can just tell how a person uh, took care of that house earlier or prior to us. Okay. So it made it easier for us to calculate. So it's general experience, you understand, like they're like they've walked through it maybe once or twice, and they right. they're just like, hey, you got you're going to need a new water heater, probably roof issues. Right. They just kind of give you a rough estimate. Right. 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 And then that's exactly right. Most, most wholesalers will just give you a rough estimate. It's up to you to do your due diligence. Mm -hmm. um, but like, like, like Chris said, uh, we trusted uh, uh, the gentleman, uh, a good friend of ours. So uh, um, he gave us the opportunity and uh, we made an offer on it and, and, and we closed on it within what five days, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so I want to give a shout out to, uh, <clears throat> Alexander Sedillo, he's the he's our friend. He's the person who we'll put his contact information below. He's the one who uh, uh, gave us the first um, the first dibs on this house, and um, <clears throat> you know, you guys want to let's walk the house so that way you understand more. Cool. Yeah, we'll do that afterwards. Uh, but that's that's just one one of the ways that we can we we can find properties. Uh, obviously, there's other ways such as you know you, you can do the own marketing yourself. Okay. And you, and you find the properties yourself. What do you like uh, mail outs with, with mail, or mailers, uh, postcards? Mm -hmm. uh, those seem to be the uh, you know the most uh, popular tools that uh, investors use. Um, Chris and I have spent uh, numbers of hours just driving for dollars as well. Okay, uh, we've gone outside. When you say driving for dollars, what does that mean? Well, driving for dollars is very easy. Uh, you drive to a neighborhood and uh, you look for houses that look vacant, abandoned, uh, high grass. Oh, okay. Uh, they look like they need so a that's like repairs. a common term, driving for dollars. It's, it, exactly. It's like that's I'm like out the, here hustling, it, looking it, for investors. tall grass and... <laughs> right. Yeah, oh, okay. Right. So you either do that yourself or, or you yeah. get a, a, a bird dog to do it for you. A bird dog is simply somebody that you say, uh, um, if you do the same thing, you know, you drive for dollars and, and you send us a property. And you get a good and, deal. And, they get and, a commission. And we close on it. You know, we, we give a referral fee. But oh. we do that ourselves. Uh, so that's another another uh, marketing oh, okay. tool that we have. Yeah. So uh, another question I had for you guys is like, how many properties do you look at before you even get to this point? You know, th I feel like that. I feel like that's not something that's easily done. Right. No. Uh, same same thing. Um, it, well, this is an exception. This right. One, this one it, dropped it, into your lap. Exactly. Yeah. It, came, it came in, but. Uh, we, we typically see a lot of properties, uh, um, you know, probably about a good 10, 15 properties before you even decide on one. Really? Uh, 
uh, because the market is uh, also very saturated, right, with right. investors and a especially lot of, Houston a lot of competition. Yeah. So Chris and I, what we've done is we thought we we, we think outside the box now, and mm -hmm. we've gone a little bit further out, okay, uh, outside of Houston for uh, for deals. And matter of fact, when we bought this one, at the same day we closed in another one in Beaumont that we bought, and we Beaumont in, in Beaumont. <laughs> That's a that's a little bit of a drive. <laughs> yeah, we 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 are we're regulars of Beaumont now. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we don't in discriminate in areas. We follow where the papers are. Exactly. Yeah, that's green okay. papers. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Nice. All right, one more question uh, before we I guess look around. Uh, I know y'all can answer this non-biased whatsoever, but okay. w do y'all hire like outside third-party inspectors for stuff like this? You know, say someone's like, I have a good deal, and you don't trust them as much. Would you pay an inspector, and then? really just throw a number out there but if you did pay for it how much would you pay for it because you know you'd probably only want the bare bones like roof hvac panel box foundation well plumbing maybe that's typically uh based on experience okay and also the contractor bits okay uh, when when we have a contractor that's gonna um we're, we're gonna entrust to give us a bid on what the repairs are okay so you're gonna hire not a home inspection company, but you already know this thing needs a lot of work. Right. So you're not even gonna to go to a home inspection company, you're gonna call your contractors to have them run out to the property and they're gonna write you a, a full bid. Scope of um, work on, 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 and, 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 and provide a bid, a proposal, if you will. Yeah. And then uh, obviously Chris and I, we look at different multiple bids and decide which one's the which one's the one that the fit, the fits our, our criteria and, and our requirements as well. And it's not always the lowest one. Not right. necessarily. Right. You, you, yeah, you, that's something very important that people tend to forget. You want to pay for quality. All right, the uh, last final question that we had for you guys is, uh, what's the biggest hurdle you have whenever you're dealing with investment properties? What, what do y'all run into the most? Uh, the biggest challenge, I guess. Well, it's not necessarily the properties themselves. It's, okay. I, uh, I would say, and Chris may agree on this, is that most of the time is finding the, the right contractor. Okay. Or, or a dependable contractor, I should say. The labor. The labor. That, yeah. that is, is probably the biggest hurdle, biggest challenge. On this particular house, uh, Chris can attest, uh, we've, we've had multiple contractors come through for different services. Right. So that's really the biggest challenge is, is, is having the time and, and, and also um, qualifying those, those, those services to mm. make sure that they are the right ones for, for your project. Man, I can completely agree. I can't tell you how often... I mean, you've been part of several of them where the house just looks fantastic inside and then you stick me in there and I'm just like, right. rip, I'm ripping it apart. It's right. because they cut corners and, you know, and they produce these low bids. Right. Right. And, and you know, <clears throat> the biggest challenge is looking for the right contractor. Right. Because yeah, they all want to do, they all claim to do good work. They all claim to be professionals. But really, it, it boils down to experience and work ethics. You know, you want somebody who say, I'll be here tomorrow at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. They'll be here at 9 a.m. Gotcha. Instead of some excuses, well, I'll be here, but my kid's in school and I got to drop him off. I'm like, that's too many excuses already. I, we're, <laughs> not, we're not afraid to pay uh, a good service uh, contractor. Right. Okay. We're not looking for the best price. Uh, we're looking for the best quality service. Got gotcha. Somebody who's going to still what they're going to do and actually do it and still do a it. customer service business right. still right yeah. deliver and it, but more importantly it's dependable right yes. dependable you can, you can show up for two days but the third day he's not here that's not good right yeah <laughs> and uh one thing one fact that we're going to end this uh questions with is uh remember uh general contractors in texas are not licensed anyone could be a general contractor like if i wanted to take off my home inspection suit and throw on a contractor suit today I'm now your general contractor. So you want to be careful on who you choose. And I can see that being a very hard hurdle because it's not regulated whatsoever, right. you know. Cool. All right. Let's go check out. Let's go look at, let's All see right. what, let's go look let's at their go. project. Let's walk this way. <laughs> yeah. So you had what, three, three dumpsters? This is our third or dumpster. Third, third dumpster. Yes. You think you're... You, you couldn't see this house when we first got it. Yeah. Oh, it was just full of like trees. trees? They were down here by where the truck is. Oh, where, the, you, where you parked your truck? Yeah. We, we couldn't see your you truck. You cannot see that. Oh, because of the trees and yes. all the stuff? Yes. It's like a jungle back there, all yeah. around here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, y'all even had termite issues. You can see it over yeah. here. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. That. You got, uh, you got some nice termite wood here. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> so the, the one thing is, is they want to make sure y'all everything can be fixed, right? That is correct. Yeah, yeah. So because I mean, when you walk the property, you can see, you can see a lot of the the repairs on the surface. Right. It's not until you start digging in that you, you, you rip find, those sheet rock off. You find and, things like that, right? Right. right. And cool. things like that is always 
always a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's come so on. Do y'all, do y'all budget for those surprises? Like you, so he gives you a bid for 20000 right? And then you'll rip open a wall. You'll kind of have a, like a $5,000 well, window maybe. That's where I'm very detailed about. That's what he explained. As I, I come from a corporate background. Right. Um, I really, my job is supply chain. So okay. I'm very, uh, my background is commercial. So when I, when I put the bid together, I did put a, a like a buffer, a buffer there as well to, or, so the, or a cushion. So if the termites show up, it's not even a surprise. You're just right. like, or, or, or you can make it up with another service where if, if the bids come in lower, then mm-hmm. you, you kind of make up for it. Okay. Right. Gotcha. So, you know, uh, we're not, we're prepared for surprises. Mm-hmm. It is, uh, we're, we're prepared for surprises. It's just, it's just the level of surprises. <laughs> All right, moving into this next room here, uh, we noticed we got the water heater, uh, and I noticed that there's galvanized water lines in this home. And a lot of our investment properties, uh, all the time in these flips, they replace everything, you know, granite countertops, they make it look nice, but they never touch the water lines. I mean, what do you think about That's that? That's different with me. Um, with me, uh, being in the retail real estate side, I know that families looking for nice, pretty countertops and nice, pretty floors and all that. But on a on the flipper side, and as a person with a mechanical background, I look for important things like a water heater. So when I see something like this, even though it looks decent, and I think the year was built in two thousand and five, so it's okay. not that bad. Yeah. But walking in, I just I just say, hey, we need to replace that. And then knowing the age of this house, like you mentioned, the Avernized Pipe, knowing the age of this house, uh, I just automatically in my head, I say, okay, we need to, we need to repex the house. Repipe it, right? Repipe it with pecs. Yeah. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about future leaks. Mm-hmm. And it's a, it's a peace of mind that when, whether we sell this house and convey it to the end buyer, right. or as we keep it for ourselves as a rental, is a peace of mind knowing that I replace all the water lines. That always right. surprises me the most about, you know, rental, you know, you'll spend $20,000 on a home and then you'll try to save five to 8,000 without the repipe, right? And then um, then they come in and you get a water leak. Well, then that's gonna cause like two to $3,000 of damage across right. the home. So it, it becomes a, a big headache actually if right. we don't take care of it up front. Right. So, Taking care of it up front, saving you more money and, and less headaches. And headaches, yeah. You don't want those complaints down the line right. or people saying that y'all are hiding things because right. you flipped the home. Right. Yeah, so replace all those galvanized water lines. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, then, and then we'll see when we go into the other room and then you see what, uh, how, we'll show you what the leak was. Oh, you found a leak, yeah. Because yeah. we automatically knew yeah. that being the age of this house, they has to have some kind of leak in the house. Somewhere. It's just somewhere. It's right. just somewhere. We'll just, just find out. Galvanized water pipes, what right. do they do? Leak. It's a matter of It's time. just where you yeah. find them, right? Yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah, let's go check out that uh, that leak over there. Come on. So we discovered the two pipes that leak. And this oh, Martinez yeah, there they are. It's the person who pointed out in the first place. So one leak, two leak. So when we see something like this, there's no decision to make or sit down and think about it. You just automatically say, hey, well, we were prepared for that already. Yeah, and, and this is actually the reason why the termites are here. Right. They they look for a consistent source of moisture, right. and with that, uh, with those water leaks right there, they had the perfect environment. They have wood, moisture, perfect area to survive, and that's the reason why they're here. And as as a matter of fact, this is what they're doing right now is they replace all these uh, studs and all the woods because it was all rotted out, mm-hmm. and he has all already demo all the bad ones, and these are actually new. I like just... I like how you braced it. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. So. Uh, it comes with a territory. <laughs> yeah, I see. Prepare for it. Yeah, I see your two by oh, six. Oh, I got a leak on my shirt. So. Oh, yeah, <laughs> nice. All right, cool. Okay, next room. Yeah, next room. So, uh, room number two. All right. This was uh, this room had a lot of termites. Oh yeah. Uh, it ate up a whole lot of. Uh, have y'all treated them yet? We didn't have to treat them. We just removed it. Oh okay. Okay, we removed the whole thing. That whatever was bad, we just. Cut it out and throw it away. Okay, so okay, y'all, but we're gonna treat it later mm-hmm. afterward. Okay, so you're getting Absolutely. getting all the yeah. wood out, and then y'all are right. gonna do a treatment on this the, is the on the back this side. This is the very first step that we have to take. The treatment is can, can come afterward. Um, the uh, pest control people can actually drill wall uh, drill through the shoe yep. rock. Yep, and yep. Then they can uh, plant they'll, nozzles in it. These look like subterranean termites, so they'll hit. They'll do a barrier on the outside, so they'll probably do a little bit of foam and uh, dig on the outside too as well. So right. that's good. Right. So. Yeah, nice, nice and new, and nice strong. And new. Yeah, so nice. So it had 
knock took out all the old termite damage, replaced it, and then y'all preparing for a treatment in the future. Yes. So this would be the Jack and June bathroom, the first um, entry, and there would be a, t a toilet right here. And due to all the moisture and all that, they, would, they we discovered some termites. Yep. Okay. Got them right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so we was the leak at the uh, shutoff or the toilet base? Shut off. At the shutoff and it was dripping and right. gave them all the moisture they needed to hang out over here, huh? Right. Well, this is not completely uh, demoed yet. We're going to re remove this. Okay. And then we're going to find out what else is behind the wall. Right. Oh, okay. And uh, we'll do more work to this. So you're going to replace new sinks, yes. new countertops, yes. new toilet, bathtub? Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, we do all new water valves, what, whatever water valve or pipe that looks old or appear to be old, we just go ahead and replace it. Because gotcha. That's something that's more important than trying to look pretty. No, I completely agree. You know, I, I've said that in my previous videos. It's just, you know, it's not about what it looks like. It's a, get that, get the bones right. And then yes. if they want to upgrade down the line, let, let them do that. Exactly. Right. Exactly. We can go walk this way. Okay. Oh, oh man! Watch out, Chris. Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> so this would be the second bat. Uh, second. The, yeah, bath. the the the, the, the so other side of Jack and Jill. There you go. The other, yeah. This is Jill then. <laughs> yeah, this is Jill. So Jack's over there. We haven't gotten to this side yet because okay. uh, they need to they need to keep this toilet running just in case you know somebody need to use. Oh okay. The yeah, toilet. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, got their bathroom area. Right, but we all we we're gonna demo this whole area this whole also. All right, cool. Yeah. Nice. Now look at this uh, fantastic room. This you should, would be room number three. Are you, are you going to keep this room right here? You're going to keep this? You know, well, you I know, think, I, although I love oh, it's the textured. 70s. It's textured. Although I love the 70s, <laughs> I kind of want to forget about it, so it's got to go. It's got to go. Oh. <laughs> nice. What do we got here? You got your furnace? Yes. Got your. That's in the bedroom? Yeah, well, you have to understand, this is how it was built back in the. 50s, 60s, and 70s, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're, we're fortunate that um, these units still work. We mm -hmm. just have to get it serviced and clean, and we will get to go. It looks fairly new, actually. You know, the, it looks the, like there's some the air leaks. This is from 2008, I want to say. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it looks fairly new. And um, we had our, our back technician uh, did maintenance mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and you'll see maybe later I'm not sure if you want to see but uh, he, he worked on the, uh, the ducts oh, okay yeah. duct work for us oh, okay he good did, um, he, he also serviced the, the once the, we had the AC the and, and the blower all running good and well uh, we found out that the duct work um, was leaking okay so we went ahead and, and, and told our guy to go ahead and fix it all nice so, yeah so uh, the, if y'all want to have it in the bedroom, just make sure y'all seal it up okay. well. And then uh, you need a, like vent pipes that, that pull air 12 inches from the top and 12 inches from the bottom. And I'm going to double check for you guys, but I believe that will be okay. And that shouldn't show up on an inspection report. So okay. if y'all like, y'all weather strip it and then uh, get those pipes. And I know they're only going to the attic, mm -hmm. but it helps proper circulation. So you get proper uh, flame okay. uh, height inside the, uh, the closet. Good yeah. advice. Thank you. Here. Cool. Watch your step. Watch your step. So we got the kitchen. You want to do the kitchen? Kitchen and uh, slash dining purpose. <laughs> yes. Watch your head. So we got the kitchen over here. Uh, although the uh, we're gonna replace the cabinets. Mm -hmm. um, the I'm sorry, not the cabinets, the countertops. Over the cabinets side? appear to be older, but they're in very good shape. Yeah, so I agree. Far, they're in very good shape. There's no damage to it. So what? What our guy is gonna do is they gonna um, uh, sand it down, mm -hmm. clean up real good, sand it down, and uh, we're gonna repaint it. Okay. And I, and what color are you going for? We're probably gonna go for the basic white. white. You okay. Know, it's, it's it's easy uh, it's easy to uh, to maintain and mm -hmm. it looks pretty. You know, it doesn't matter the the age of it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's about it. And it coordinates with whatever color it is. It's a neutral color. Okay. So you coordinate any color that, that, the, that the end buyer is going to use anyway. All right, nice. I think you need a new door, Chris. Yeah, we're debating it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So this is a very big backyard. Yeah. Uh, and when we first came in. Wow, look at this tree. Uh, when we first came in, you couldn't see this big backyard. Oh, man. 
along with this house, we accumu- we when we bought the house, it came with two boats. Boats? Yeah, yeah, boats. There was two boats. <laughs> there were two boats on two trailers, and we didn't even see it because it was covered up in, in brushes and trees. <laughs> so you sold the boats. No, we have the boat. Oh, you have the boat <laughs> we now. Have the boat. It's, it's one each. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. Each. You got a boat. You got a boat. <laughs> so, asking with the boat. <laughs> and there was so much trees and branches and all that. Yeah. Um, and it was full of personal items from the previous owners who lived here for the 40, 50 years. And uh, there was some stuff that we cleaned out, and there was some personal stuff. Uh, we we put it aside because you know, looking at family pictures, we knew it was very important and stuff. So we put it aside and we told the previous owner he can come over and pick it up anytime. Oh, nice. Yeah. And um, most so people anyways, wouldn't do that. That's, that's, well, man, you know, it's, it's, man, it's, you're uh, replacing the galvanized pipes and you're giving their stuff back. Man, well, you, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, we're human. You know, yeah. we understand what it feels that, that, like that's to That's the key uh, word. We're human. Yeah. We're yeah. human. Yeah. You know, it's not always about the money or the profit. It's not all about that. Yeah. Uh, we Good try work. To do the right yeah. Thing. Yeah. Awesome. Well, um, if you are looking to get into the investment game, uh, DMV partners always look for other partners, right? And then uh, real estate, uh, I know Christopher Vo always takes care of his clients. Uh, you can see him on some of our pre-listing inspections uh, together. And that video is actually one of our most popular videos, isn't it? Isn't it like at like 2,000 views or something? Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, it's pretty oh, nice. Because yeah. I'm in it. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty cool. So uh, that's a... a quick sneak peek and the investor kind of insight on the video. So uh, thanks for guys watch for watching and uh, please subscribe to the channel. We'll leave their contact information below if you're looking into getting investments. Cool. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.